how's it going YouTube? Right, I was just doing a few jobs on the camper and I thought the sun's come out. I want to show you something that I've been using for about a month. In this camper, I've not really done any of the electrics yet, so I've been powering it temporarily. Uh, for about a month now, I've been using this. Before this, I had like a little battery wired up. So this is the All Powers S3000 Pro uh, power bank. And we've also got the SP037 uh, 400 watts of solar as well. So I think what we need to do is let's unplug this and let's get it out and let's have a look at it because it's actually really impressive. And it's done me really well over this last month. Right, so let's have a proper look at this thing because it's a bit of a beast to be honest. As I said, this is the All Powers S2000 Pro. We'll have a look at the solar in a minute after we've gone through this. Uh, this is a 1500 watt hour uh, lithium iron phosphate power station. Uh, the lithium iron phosphate batteries uh, take more charging cycles. Uh, this one's specced at 3000 charging cycles, which is quite a few years actually. I'll not bother putting this back in the box again to box it all up, but we get a few extra bits in the box. Uh, one of them is the warranty card. You get like a, a little QR code you can scan and some instructions and things like that in here. Uh, you also get this little bag here to store it in. I'm not even taking this out. Uh, this is a pretty snazzy little bag actually. Let's put it in and show you. Uh, there it is in its bag. It's got a little zip down the side as well. So if you do want to plug things in and leave the cables coming out the side like that so it's stored in its bag, you can. Uh, so a nice little bag you get with it there. Uh, you get another little bag in the box as well, uh, which has got some cables and things in it. A charging cable. Uh, this is just like a normal kettle lead type. Uh, this plugs straight into the back of the unit. All the output sockets are on the front. We'll have a look in a minute. Uh, the only one that's not on the front is this charging one, which is on the back for the 240 volt charging. Uh, you get a solar input cable. Uh, this plugs into the front over here on the input socket and you get this 12 volt cable here which is you can plug into your cigarette lighter or whatever from your car and charge the unit in that way. It's got an XT60 connector on the end of it. The same as the solar, they've both got XT60 connections on them and that's what you get in this bag. Right, so let's pull you down a little bit closer and let's have a look at this unit, shall we? Right, so as I said, this is a lithium iron phosphate uh, 1500 watt hour battery. Uh, the reason they've mentioned in watt hours and not amp hours is because they're at Ohm's law. Uh, if you're putting out 100 watts at 240 volts, uh, that'll use less amps than 100 watts at 12 volts will, uh, because the calculation is amps times volts equals watts. So if, if you've got your watts divided by your volts, uh, that'll get your amps. Uh, so if you're using that per hour, you'll notice your amp hour is different. So that's why they measure these in watt hours rather than amp hours, because they're putting out different voltages from the same battery. The 240 volt side of this is a 2400 watt pure sine wave inverter. Uh, with a 4,000 watt peak output. Uh, as you can see, we've got four AC outlets there. Uh, we've got an RV outlet on this one as well. Uh, in the UK, this is not particularly useful uh, because we don't use these type of sockets. I know in the US they do, and uh, this is 110 volts as well, so it's, it's no good for us in the UK. Uh, we've got one 12 volt carport here. Uh, which is a 10 amp output, two times USB-C, which are a PD 100 watt max, four times USB-A, uh, which are 18 watt max outputs. Uh, this XT60 input here, uh, this is what is used for charging it. Uh, so we can get our 12 volts in uh, from the charging of a vehicle, or we can connect it to the solar. Uh, this will take up to 650 watt of power, uh, which is an 18 amps worth of solar energy. Uh, as I said, uh, we've got the 400 watt solar panel, which we'll plug in and have a look at later. Uh, when you plug this in via the electric at the back, uh, this one, uh, you'll hear the fans kick in as it charges. It's quite noisy while it's charging, uh, but the reason is because it has got a very fast charger in it. Uh, the specs claim that it takes about an hour to charge, which it pretty much does when you're watching. What it, what it does do is it gets up to 100% and then it sits there quite a while before it shuts down. Uh, once it's finished charging, all the fans shut down and it's really quiet actually once it's done. You can dual charge this as well. Uh, so if you've got it plugged into the AC mains and the solar, uh, you can dual charge it for an even faster charge. 
Uh, the weight of this thing is 14.5 kilos, uh, but it's not going to be super light anyway with having this size battery and inverter in it. But it's got these nice convenient handles on top that you can carry it around with. You've got three buttons here. You've got a power button, an AC button and a DC button. Uh, so if you press and hold this one, it turns the unit on. If you want to turn the AC sockets on, you press and hold the AC button and that turns the sockets on. There you are, there's the AC on now. Uh, if you want the DC on, uh, you literally just press it quickly on and then that turns it on. If you press and hold, then that turns on the Bluetooth function. As you can see there, we've got the little Bluetooth symbol on. Uh, the reason it's got Bluetooth is because you've got this little All Powers app that you can download here. Uh, and this will tell you the capacity of the battery, it'll tell you what it's charging at, and it'll tell you the power that it's pulling out. And you can turn on and off things like the AC and the DC there. Apart from that, it's a pretty basic application. It doesn't do any more than that. It is kind of needed when you're plugged into things uh, because this screen here, it tells you what you're pulling out in your watts there, or it tells you what you're getting in from your charging. Uh, but if you've got something taking power out, this will always show you what's going out. And if you've got solar plugged in as well, it won't actually tell you on this screen here the output and the input at the same time, uh, which this app is good for because this will tell you the input and the output at the same time. Uh, it's a shame it doesn't show you the both on this screen here so you can see what it's doing at any time. Right, so they're the main specs of this thing. So I think while this sun's still out a little bit, let's go and have a look at this solar as well, shall we? And plug it in and see what it's like. Uh, right, as I said, this is the SP037 uh, 400 watt solar. This came as a kit uh, with the S2000 Pro and this solar panel here. I'll put a link directly to this exact kit. I'll put those links below. This is a folding solar panel kit. We'll unfold it in a second to see how big it is because it unfolds quite big. Uh, this is what they call a, a lightweight folding option. It's 18 kilos, so it's not the lightest thing in the world, uh, but for 400 watts of solar in this thing, it's got a nice little carrying handle there. Um, it is pretty portable, actually. Um, on the front here, it's got this little pocket uh, in this pocket, it had some stuff. Uh, we've got a manual. Uh, the cables there, which are the actual solar panel cables from the panels themselves that we plug into. Uh, we've got an adapter cable um, from the solar connections to the XT60 plug, so we can plug it straight into the power pack. And we've got another cable here, which is, which is to a, like a 12 volt socket sort of thing. Uh, also in this little pocket, uh, we've got some little carabiner clips. We've got a few of them there uh, because what it's got on the end of the thing there, I don't know if you can see, it's got some little tags. So what you can do is you can hang this up. Uh, so it'd be a good thing to keep in my van as extra solar power because uh, then I can hang it from the roof rack and it can dangle down the side of the van if I want to get some more power, which I probably will be doing. So if I fasten this up and what I will do is I'll leave this cable here poking out the zip. Uh, we can plug in these connectors here, uh, which has got the XT60 connection on, so we can plug that into the power pack in a minute. If we look on the back of the panels, uh, what it's got, it's got some like little kickstand things that come out. Uh, so when you put them up, uh, you can tilt them like that. So it doesn't have to be directly flat, you can tilt it towards the sun. Uh, also on the back, it's got some little straps here, uh, which fasten it all together. Uh, so if I set the camera back a little bit, what I'll do is I'll tilt this one back and let's unfold this thing. Best thing to do is if you start with one panel and then just unfold a panel at a time and then you don't get in a mess with it then. Unless the power pack's in the way of course. Right, so there it is unfolded. As you can see, it's a pretty big array. Uh, so if I get this XT60 connector, uh, we can plug it into the front here. Uh, let's see what sort of power we're pulling. The sun's going down a bit now, to be fair. As you can see there, it's going up. We're at 141 watts now, and we're charging away, uh, which is not bad, actually, to say the sun's going down. 
Right, so while this thing's like this and it's all plugged in, let's plug something into it that's quite beefy and let's test out its output. Right, if I steal the missus's hairdryer, apparently this is 2.2 kilowatt. Right, so let's put that on there a second. Put that there. Uh, let's plug it in. Let's switch on the AC. Right, as I said before, uh, as you can see there, we're pulling 128 watts of solar. If I turn this on to its first low click, this hairdryer, Uh, you can see there it's switched over to output and then turn it off again as you can see there it's switched to an output and now it's switched back to the input so it'll only show you either the input or the output uh, what you need to do like i said is you need to look on the app itself uh, to see what you're pulling and what you're putting in at the same time right so if we wang this hairdryer up to full power let's see how it copes with it Uh, there we are, it's pulling 2000 watts now. Right, so if I pull back a little bit and um, we'll connect to this app, uh, what we can see here on the app now, now it shows us uh, the input 155 watts and the output uh, 2000 watts. Our battery is currently 87% and at the rate we're going uh, it'll last us 33 minutes which is not bad because that is literally running at full power more or less. Uh, so it's not bad going there but this is literally the only way you can see the input and the output at the same time. Uh, but as you can see uh, that's been running quite a while now and it's running perfectly fine and that's at full power, 2000, just over 2000 watts. Uh, so if I turn that off, uh, we can hear the fans kicked in on this now as well. It's not particularly loud, it's all right, uh, but it is there and it is noticeable. Uh, so that's that system. And this is a pretty good off-grid power, to be honest. So if you're out camping or anything like that, uh, this is a really useful system. Uh, but if you're going for a week or something camping, you put those solar panels outside and this will look after itself. And as I said, I will be utilising this, uh, most likely this solar as well, uh, into my camper build as a backup power system because the camper is going to be designed as an off-grid system. Uh, so to have a backup system for that is fantastic. Right, so let me get out this sun a minute so you can see me. Right, so what, as I said, what I'll do is I'll put some links down below where you can check out this system for yourself. I'll put the links for this exact one so you can have a look at that. Um, I think it's about £1,300 for the complete system at this minute. It's on the special offer. Um, and that's not particularly bad, to be honest, because if you think, if you're buying a lithium battery, an inverter and solar that matches this sort of spec, you'll be looking at more money than that. And the convenience of this is because it's an all-in-one system. And I think I've got some discount codes as well, uh, so I'll be putting those down below. Hello. So like the video if you liked it, uh, comment anything below or what you think about this system or anything around the camper build or anything like that. Um, I always like to read your comments and I'll catch you again in another video. Cheers.